beautiful bosses and welcome to another episode of Design with Sabri. So today I'm going to answer the questions that you guys have been asking me where I'm going to design my logo in Photoshop and I'm going to show you how I get my glitter effects as well. Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my documents for my logo design and I go by saying File, New. And then I used the document size of 5 by 5 with 300 ppi. I'm going to go ahead and create that right there and I'm going to end up with a blank slate here. Now before I begin, I'm going to pull the background image from that there. And we're going to make the background here in the color black. And I'm going to lock this into place. Alright, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to type out my words and then we're going to arrange them how we want them to look. So the first thing I'm going to type out is elite. Then I'm going to type out boss. Then we're going to type out plug. And then we're going to arrange these in the order that we want them to be in. Plug. For the font, the font that I'm going to use for Boss is going to be Blue Brush. And you can find all these fonts on thefont.com for free. And I'm going to link that down in the description box for you guys below. Alright, and then I'm going to move this into the center here. And I'm going to put plug above and we're going to see that in just a few and then I'm going to type in my slogan and I'm going to use the font little for my slogan little thin and I'm going to say business tips plus resources yeah. Right, and then we are going to make that full caps and we are probably going to give it a little bit of space, about 75, we are going to make it 8. How about we make it white as well? Is that going to work? There we go. And that looks really good to me right there. Alright, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I am going to show you guys how I get the glitter effect for my um, logo. And what I did was I went ahead and I dragged and dropped the glitter background in a new document in Photoshop. And then I went to edit. I went to the define pattern and then I save it as gold background and I clicked OK. I then closed that and I went over to my document. I clicked on boss, blending options, and then I clicked pattern overlay and it came up where I would just select it right here and there. Alright, now the beauty of this is actually the scale effect where you can scale to how small you want the glitter to be or how big you want the glitter to be. And then I'm going to add a stroke effect to it. Your stroke can be whatever size that you want it to be. And then I'm going to hit OK. Now, because... I want the plug to show more. I'm going to add a background, not a background, I'm going to add a drop shadow. I'm going to click blend in options once again and I'm going to add the drop shadow. And then I'm going to move it up a little bit more so you can actually see that it's saying plug. And I'm going to do the same for elite. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on plug, copy layers style and then I'm going to right click on elite 
and then I'm going to paste layers there. That's why I don't have to be doing it twice. And let's just make that a little bit thicker. And there you have it. That is how I created my logo in Photoshop. There you go. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to list them down in the comment section below. If you have not yet subscribed, please feel free to do so as well. See you guys in the next video.